10.3 nuclear reactions. So the first thing we're going to review a little bit about transmutation. And there's two types of transmutation. Remember, transmutation is really meaning change. So when something changes. So natural transmutation happens with unstable atoms, elements uh, with atomic number greater than 83. And what happens is this large unstable nucleus changes into a new element by giving off some sort of particle, usually. Okay, natural transmutations include the following. And the ones we've learned about already, alpha, beta, and positron emission, where a particle is given off. Uh, natural transmutation happens in the sun. That's a fusion reaction, which we're going to talk more about in a little bit. And then sometimes very large elements undergo electron capture, where one of the inner electrons okay, move into the nucleus combined with a proton, and a proton turns into a neutron. And some energy, gamma rays, x-rays, neutrinos, and the like are given off. The other major category of transmutation is artificial. And artificial occurs with stable atoms, but they need some type of high energy particles to begin the reaction. So the scientists, whoever, will bombard the nucleus with these high energy particles. So you have the, this large nucleus. The high energy particle will be referred to as a bullet, which gets shot at the nucleus. The nucleus kind of absorbs that bullet, but then breaks down into a new element and a particle. Artificial transmutation includes the following, the bombarding of any nucleus, uh, artificial fusion as opposed to just the natural fusion that takes place in the sun, and fission, which is involved in splitting a large nucleus into smaller items. So. Important tip to remember, natural transmutation includes of a single nucleus on the left, so there's just one thing on the left undergoing decay. Artificial will have two reactants on the left, okay, the large nucleus and that small bullet. All right, so let's take a closer look at fission. Fission involves splitting the nucleus of the atom where larger particles split into smaller particles and energy is produced in this nuclear reaction. Now, it's a very important disadvantage of fission that you have to remember is nuclear waste. So while fission can be a very good source of energy, the fact that there's a nuclear waste that's got to be dealt with after the fact can create a bit of a problem. So if you look at a picture here for fission, right? Here's a large nucleus, right, uranium-92, sorry, uranium-235, there's 92 protons and 143 neutrons, so it's very large. And if you bombard it with a neutron, it's going to break down into barium-141, krypton-92, and three more neutrons. And what happens is these three neutrons then find more uranium-235 nuclei and bombard that with it. So it ends up being a chain reaction because for every uranium-235 that's broken down, there's three new bullets. Fusion, where two smaller, lighter nuclei are combined to produce heavier, a heavier nucleus or heavier nuclei. Advantage of fusion gives off a lot of energy. You're not producing dangerous waste products. The, uh, for as an example, the sun uses a fusion reaction to create energy, right? Where you're going to have hydrogen nuclei forming helium. So the hydrogen nuclei are constantly being fused together to make helium. Disadvantage of fusion, right? You usually need a lot of heat. So you have to have uh, test materials that are strong enough to withstand that heat. And it's difficult to contain the nuclei into a small enough area. It's very difficult to control a fusion reaction. All right, and a fusion reaction, right, here's a tritium and a deuterium. They're being uh, fused together. All right, so here's your proton, here's your proton, one, two, three neutrons. They form, here's a proton, proton, neutron, neutron, and they form regular helium-4 and give off a neutron, which also needs to be dealt with. 
All right, question time. Yeah. Three simple multiple choice questions. You need to know them in case you get called on for the quiz. That brings us to the end of 10.3. I will see you guys in school.